Now, Abdel Raza is one of the hundreds of thousands of people in the Gulf state of Qatar diagnosed with diabetes, a condition in which high levels of sugar settle in the blood. Before, I used to go normally in the car without any problems. But now, I have to use a wheelchair. According to the World Health Organization, nearly 350 million people worldwide, almost 5% of the world's population, are diabetic. It's estimated that this number could double within the next 20 years. Experts blame the rise partially on genetics. But sedentary lifestyles and skyrocketing obesity rates also contribute to the problem. Before, the foods in the Gulf area was only mostly rice and uh, meat. Now there is so many variety of the foods. Qatar's newly found wealth has attracted several fast food chains to its capital city, Doha. The people, they like the junk food. Concerned by the rapid spread of the disease and to draw awareness to the dangers of fast food, the Qatari government has ordered restaurants to list the calorie count in every meal. It's also working with international partners to find a cure. Meanwhile, Abdel Raza takes his medication diligently and constantly monitors his blood sugar levels. But despite his compliance, the disease is rapidly claiming different parts of his body. I cannot see in my left eye. Now, his kidneys are failing. Abdel Razza's only hope for survival is a kidney transplant. Until then, he continues dialysis treatment three times a week.